the reflection of j negative 1 and 11 is j prime negative 1 and negative 11 what is the reflection of d 5 and negative 5 when reflected over the same axis of reflection so we have the negative 1 and 11 was reflected over negative 1 and negative 11 so the sign that's been changed here is the y-axis and if the y-axis has been changed it is being reflected over the x-axis so if we have 5 and negative 5 since this one is was reflected over the x-axis we have to change the sign of the y-axis so negative 5 is going to be 5 so overall is going to be 5 and 5. What is the reflection rule over the? So this reflection, it says that x and y was being reflected over negative x and y. So the first thing you're going to see is the sign that's been changed right here, which was the x-axis. As you can see, it was positive and now it's negative. So if the sign of the x-axis has been changed, it is being reflected over the y-axis. It's the opposite. So y-axis. What would be the coordinate of point K if it was reflected over the y-axis? So we have k and it's telling us if it was reflected over the x-axis what would it be negative 5 and 2 5 and negative 2 or 5 and 2 so let's see so we have k which is at negative 5 and negative 2 so what we want to do is turn it to the other side and we're going to reflect it over the y-axis but first we need to count how many points so one two one two and now it's going to be at five and two or you can also do it on this side which is what we're doing right now this when you reflect it over this side it is wrong so we're going to reflect it over the y-axis on the right side so one two three four five and then on the other side one two three four five so it's going to be at five and negative two you should always reflect it over the other side and not above it so it's going to be at five and two five and negative two sorry reflect the point we have two and negative four over the y-axis Again, it says it's being reflected over the y-axis. So if we have the reflection is y-axis, we have to change the sign of the x-axis. So positive 2 is going to be negative 2, and overall, it's going to be negative 2 and negative 4. This image is being reflected across the x-axis or y-axis. So we have those two figures right here. And when it says this image is being reflected across, which means between, across means between. So this figure right here, as you can see, it's being reflected between the y-axis. The y-axis is between them. So it's the y-axis. Reflecting over the y-axis changes the x-coordinate x-axis, y-axis, or y-coordinate. So when you reflect over the y-axis, the x-coordinate is going to change. It is a rule you have to memorize. What is the algebraic notation for this reflection? So we have this figure right here. It's being reflected over the x-axis. So if it's being reflected across the x-axis, the sign of the y-axis is going to change. So we have x and y, it's going to be x and negative y. Because we are, this reflection is across the x-axis, as you can see here. Those two figures are between the x-axis, so it's being reflected across the x-axis. And when we talk about the reflection over the x-axis, we have to change the sign of the opposite. So if it's being reflected across the x-axis, we have to change the sign of the y-axis. So x and y, we have to change the sign of the y. It's going to be negative y. So x and negative y.
we have QRS continues the point. We have Q is 4 and 2. R is 5 and 1. S is 3 and 7. If the triangle is reflected across the X axis, what will S prime be? So they're telling us here that if the triangle is reflected across the Y axis, what will S be? So again, we are talking about the reflection across the X, the, sorry, the Y axis. So we have to change the sign of the X axis. And positive three is going to be negative three. So overall is going to be negative three and seven. What is this transformation? We have x and y reflected over negative x and y. So as you can see here, the sign that's been changed here is x. And x turned to negative x. So x, the sign of the x was changed. And if the sign of the x was changed, it's being reflected over the y-axis. It's always the opposite. So reflected over the y-axis. This ordered pair shows a reflection across the, so we have 3 and 14 reflected over 3 and negative 14. The sign that's been changed here is the y-axis. So positive, it was now negative. And if the sign of the y-axis has been changed, it's being reflected over the x-axis. So... Reflect. We have 6 and negative 3 over the line x-axis. So if we, it's, if it's being reflected over the x-axis, the sign of the y-axis, it's going to change. So we have negative 3, and negative 3 is going to be positive 3. Overall, is going to be 6 and 3. You don't have to write the sign of the positive. Reflect the point. We have 2 and negative 4 over the y-axis. Again, it's being reflected over the y-axis, so the sign of the x-axis has to change. Positive 2 is going to be negative 2, and overall is going to be negative 2 and negative 4. What is the algebraic notation for this reflection? So we have those two figures, they're being reflected across the y-axis. And if they're being reflected across the y-axis or between them, the sign of the x-axis has to change. So x and y, we're going to have to change the sign of the x, so it's going to be negative x and y. This one. Reflect 6 and negative 3 over the line x-axis. So we are reflecting it over the x-axis. And if we are reflecting it over the x-axis, the sign of the y-axis has to change. Negative 3 is going to be positive 3, and overall is going to be 6 and 3. We have QRS contains the points Q, 4 and 2, R, 5 and 1, S, uh, S 3 and 7. If the triangle is reflected across the y-axis, what will S prime be? So it's saying right here the triangle is reflected over the y-axis. So y-axis, we have to change the sign of the x-axis. And S, we have 3 and 7, so we have to change the sign of the x-axis. Positive 3 is going to be negative 3, so S prime is going to be negative 3 and 7. What axis is this reflection describing? A figure in quadrant I is reflected into quadrant IV. So if we're talking about the figure and it's being reflected into the, so coordinate I is going to be reflected over IV. So this axis is saying, so I is basically a vertical, and if a figure in the coordinate or in the graph, I is going to reflect it into coordinate IV, so it's going to be the X axis.
point C, negative 5 and 4 is reflected over the x-axis. What are the coordinates of C prime? So it's reflected over the x-axis. So you have to change the sign of the y-axis. Positive 4 is going to be negative 4, so C prime is going to be negative 5 and negative 4. Where will A prime be at if triangle ABC is reflected by X and Y reflected over negative X and Y? So here, the sign that's been changed here is the X axis, so it's being reflected over the Y axis. So now we have to reflect A prime over the Y axis. So A is at 1 and 2. So if we put it here, it's going to be at negative 1 and 2. Reflect point C over the y-axis. So we have point C right here. We're going to reflect it, reflect it over the y-axis. Over the y-axis, which is between the y-axis. So first we have to count the points, one, two, three, and on the other side, one, two, three. So it's going to be at negative three and two. This is the reflection rule over the, so we have x and y was reflected to x and negative y. The sign that's been changed here is the y axis, so it's being reflected over the x axis. Is the reflection shown a reflection over the x accessory axis? So we have points G is negative 7 and negative Q is reflected to G prime negative 7 and Q. So the sign that's been changed here is the y axis. So it's being reflected over the x axis. We are all done. We got 100% and that's it. Thank you.